What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Tangem wallet. So I'm gonna download the app, show you how to connect it, how to do everything you need to do. This is the three card set, one, two, three. So I'm gonna turn the camera to face my phone and show you exactly how to set it up. If you wanna pick up a three card set, you can use my link and you'll get 10% off. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the app. So go to your app store, type in Tangem wallet and it should come up looking something like this on the iPhone store or whatever. It has three and a half thousand reviews. So what I'm gonna do is just download this. So next you're gonna open up the app and now it's asking me if I want to scan my card or order cards. So assuming that you already have uh, ordered your cards, you will just click scan card right here. And now it's asking me, ready to scan, tap the card as shown above, and hold until the end of the operation. So here are my Tangem cards. I have three of them. If you've never used them, you can just pick one. So I'm just gonna pick one of the cards right here, and I'm gonna hold it right to the back of the phone. And I'm gonna keep holding it until that pops up. And now I can, you can read it if you want, that's a lot, but uh, I'm gonna click accept. Now it says generate keys privately. Your keys will be securely generated inside the card. There is no seed phrase, which means nobody can export or steal it. So you can click create wallet. You can also click other options. And then if you want to use a seed phrase, you can do so. So they give you the option, which is actually kind of new. So a seed phrase is what most, if not all other wallets use, like Ledger, Trezor, and all the other ones, where it is a 12 or 24 word phrase. So I'm gonna go back and just click create wallet and not use the seed phrase. So create wallet, again, it's asking me to hold the card. And there we go. Now it asks me to start the backup process, add up to two cards. So now I have these other two cards right here. I'm gonna click add a backup card, pick one of the other cards, hold it to the back of the phone. That's that. Add another backup card and do the same thing. It says the two backup cards have been added. So that is it for kind of backing up the cards, right? I have three cards now, one, two, three, and these will all give me access to this wallet. Now I'm gonna click finalize the backup. So now it asks me to create a backup code. So I'm gonna click create. Create access code, choose any word, phrase, or number you want as your access code. So for right now, I'll just type in computer, because I'm looking at it. Continue, type it in again. Submit. Now it says scan the primary card with number 9783 as the end. So if you can see right here, this is one of the cards. See if you can zoom in on that or if I can somehow get that to focus. There it is. So the last four, it says 9783. So make sure you get that card that they're asking for. Scan primary card. Ready to scan, I'm gonna hold that to the back of the phone. So I'm holding it basically right behind the, uh, right behind the cameras. So I'm holding it there, I'm basically touching it to the back of the phone. And, and that is it. Now I can do the other backup cards. So this is one ending in 9767. That is gonna be this one right here. Scan card one. So I'm literally just holding it to the back of the phone like this. There we go. So I'm holding it here. It's doing its little countdown. I may have moved it, so that could have been my fault. Let's see. There we go. It restarted it because I moved it. So you gotta keep the card in the right place. And you'll feel it. There's a little haptic kind of vibration here. So, so far, Super easy, just follow the instructions.
And the final backup card, scan card two, 9775, hold it. All right, so that is basically it. Would you like to use Face ID? So if you want to use your face as a part of your wallet, you can do so. So I'm going to say allow to use Face ID. Allow, just scanned my face, and success. Okay, so continue to use my wallet. So obviously it's a brand new wallet. I have not sent anything here. Now, Tandrum has a lot of different options, which I'll go through. So manage tokens on the bottom. You can see all the different tokens here, and they're coming out with a lot more basically every month. So tons and tons and tons of tokens. You can just search it on the top if you'd like as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send some Ethereum and you can choose which chain you want to send it on. So here we have, yeah, you can send it on Ethereum, or I can click Solana, and I can send ETH on Solana. What I'm gonna do is just type in Sol, and I am going to tap that little button there, and this is gonna be the my, Sol, my main Solana wallet. So, click Cancel, and now, if I do Save Changes, whoops, let me just scan a wallet because it's asking me to. All right, so what this did is on my homepage, it added a couple different wallets. So now I have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and I added Ethereum on Solana. So if you want to add more tokens, you just go to manage tokens. And again, you find what you want. If you have a coin, you can click that little um, down arrow and it'll say what chain do you want it on or what network. So for example, Dogecoin, it allows you to do on a BNB Smart Chain, BEP20, or the main Dogecoin. Take a look at USDC, it gives you all of these different chains, which is really, really cool. Ethereum, Solana, BNB, Avalanche, Tron, Polygon, Kronos, Phantom. I mean, honestly, pretty amazing with the support here. So going back, uh, let me just get out of this page. So now let's send some Solana to this address. So I am going to receive or find my receive address here. So clicking receive. So this is gonna be my Solana QR code and then the address, I'm gonna click copy that and I'm gonna to go to a wallet right now and send myself some Solana. So right now I opened up my Phantom wallet. So right now I'm just gonna paste that address that you just saw. That is the address I got from my Tangem. Click next. How much Sol? I'm just gonna do one soul and uh, click next here. And sending that and Solana's pretty fast, so it, sh it should arrive in my tangent pretty darn uh, quickly. So let's just wait for this and check in with you when it is in my tangent. So about 20 seconds later, it appeared in my Tangem wallet. So if I go back, again, this is the screen, the home page for Tangem, and you can see I have one soul in my Solana wallet. So what can I do from here? Well, I can receive more Solana. If I click send, all I would have to do is enter another Solana network address, and then that's it. I could then swap it, so if I click swap, there is an in-app swap feature. So if I wanted to swap uh, 0.5 SOL into Bitcoin, it will find the best rate, $79.79 of Solana, and you're only losing like $2.70 on the swap, which is actually very, very good, especially since Bitcoin is its own separate network, you know? so. This is a way you can swap in and out of different coins. If I click Bitcoin, I can then pick another uh, token to swap into, but I would need to add that to 
my wallet first. So what do I mean by that? Let's say I have Solana, but I wanted to swap it into, I don't know, Tron or something. No, I don't want to do Tron. Let's say I want to swap it into USDC. I want to cash out, right? So it would be the cheapest and the quickest to click USDC on Solana. But let's say I want to have the option of getting ERC20 USDC. So I will add those two. I'll click Save Changes. And there you have it, those two were added. So if I go back to Solana and I click Swap, we'll say I want to swap 0.5 right here. And rather than Bitcoin, I want to, now I have other options, right? It's USDC coin on Solana, or I can convert it to USDC on Ethereum. So USDC on Solana, I would be losing about uh, $2 in the swap, and then USDC on Ethereum, I would be losing around the same. It's around a $2 swap. So hope that makes sense. You can swap in and out of different coins here. So basically, that's how you add coins, and then you can use the deposit address for each. So USDC on Ethereum, if I click this, and then I click receive, this will give me an ERC20 deposit address for USDC. So very kind of simple there. And you can add all the different coins that you want. At the end of this video, I'll talk a little bit about what they're coming out with over the next couple weeks, a lot of updates. So that's the main functionality that I use Tangem for. I'll make another video connecting Tangem to different dApps so you can maybe trade on different platforms. But in this video, I just wanted to show you how to add coins, how to receive coins. So for example, if you had Bitcoin, you would click Bitcoin, and then you would click receive. And this is going to be your Bitcoin network address. You can also buy crypto. I've not done that myself. It looks like it goes through a third party website, Mercurio, I believe. So I've never done this. But uh, apparently you can. Personally, if I'm buying Bitcoin, I usually just go through uh, Coinbase just because I've been using that for a long time. But you can try to do this. I've never done it. But apparently Apple Pay, Google Pay, or just using a Visa card allows you to buy Bitcoin. So this is the latest email we got for Tangem. And I just want to go over some of the highlights. So Tangem is always coming out with some cool stuff. Uh, new colors. They have some partnerships with different YouTubers and different companies, different collaborations. Here, which is important, new networks and app development. The new Tangem Wallet Roadmap outlines upcoming releases and developments for June, July, and Q3 of this year. So the June releases, you can see there are seven plus new coins. July, six different ones, under construction, different networks, all sorts of new things coming online. They're also adding native staking functionality for multiple networks, including Solana, Cosmos, Polkadot, Polygon, Cardano, Avalanche, Tron, Binance, Near, Tezos, Kronos, and Kava. Also adding new languages. And again, they are adding new coins for June and July. So if you want to pick up a Tangem, if you don't already have one, there's going to be a link below where you will get 10% off your order. So here the website, yes, you just tap your phone, very, very easy. The cards embedded chip generates a random private key ensuring that the wallet cannot be compromised. The activation process like I showed you took probably even less than three minutes. So there's a reason that I suggest getting the three card set, which I have right here, three separate cards. Here it says you get three equal cards to one wallet just like having three identical keys to your room door. So they talk about the security of the Tangem chip. It has a really high water, dust, and temperature resistance. It can withstand x-rays, electrostatic discharge, EMPs, and there are no points of vulnerability or elements that are prone to failure here. So I was gonna end the video, but first I actually wanted to restore the wallet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete the Tangem app off my phone. Okay, now I'm going to go and find it again. So let's go ahead and download the Tangem wallet again. So there's a benefit in having three cards. It says a three card set, I'm, just, I'm reading it right here on the computer. A three card set gives you a better chance at recovering access to your wallet than a two card set. 
If one card is lost or stolen, you can use the other card to get access to your wallet. But if you lose one card and you forget your access code, you'll need a third card to reset the access code. Therefore, we recommend getting the three card set. So I'm gonna click scan card right here. And let's scan that card. And it wants me to add that access code, but let's say I forgot it. So I'm gonna click forgot your code. And now I'm gonna create a new access code. So I'm just gonna do my name, confirm access code, continue, tap the card you wanna restore. So I'm gonna click continue and then tap that card. Then click continue. And I actually am using a different card right now. So I am scanning one of the other cards. So that's the benefit of having multiple cards here. Now it's asking for the 9775 card. That's going to be right here. The code was reset. I'll use face ID. So right now I'm gonna say get addresses, click in my name, which was the access code, then click continue. And there we have it. There is my wallet. So a little confusing, but not really confusing. I just decided to reset my access code. So if you didn't need to reset it, you could have just entered the original one. So my original one, if you remember, was computer. But um, I decided to go through the process of pretending like I forgot my access code, which was computer. So that's the benefit of having the three card set. If you lose one card, let's say this one is completely gone, you can use two of the other ones to reset your access code and then get your crypto back. So that's why for the extra, whatever, 10, 15 bucks, getting the three card set is a better deal. So basically what I did, what I just showed you is I deleted my account and I started over. And here is literally what I had before I deleted uh, my app, I should say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you learned a couple things about how to set up your Tangem and how to use it. If you don't already have a Tangem wallet, you can use my link below and you're gonna get 10% off your order. I highly recommend getting the three card set right here. Hope you guys are doing well. Till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.